Beach. One fresh out of toys, Santa makes his way back. When he hears a small noise from inside of his pack, a sound that's not unlike a baby's cry. It's enough to leave the jolly guy perplexed. And? 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 Come on, buddy, what comes next? A baby inside Santa's bag? That's not a bad start. He's buying it. Keep going. Page two, back from his ride. Santa gathers his elves. He gathers his elves. And they quickly decide they'll raise the baby themselves. The North Pole isn't made for humans, though. And soon the phony elf begins to grow so tall. He. 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 Learns he's human after all. Right! Good one, Dad! It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of... It's kind of brilliant if I say so myself. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. So the baby finds out he's human. Then what? Well, uh, he goes to New York. And... Uh... Page... Three, his father's at work when Buddy walks through the door. His dad is sort of a jerk and Buddy's banned from the floor. His father's not prepared to be a dad to a son he never knew he had. But soon he'll be forced to change his tune. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of Dad in a setting much like this. And maybe his father learns a son is something he can dismiss. They, they might, might learn that they need each other much more than they know. Maybe the point of the story is it's never too late to grow. It's never too late to grow.